Hey guys, Jed here. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about substitution and algebra. So let's take a look at what substitution means and how to effectively carry it out. Here I have when x equals 3. So this essentially means whatever's about to happen or whichever expressions you're about to see, whenever there's an x, you can replace it with a 3. But there's a good and a bad way to do it. And we're going to look at the good way. So First things first, when x equals 3, find the following. Let's start off with a simple example, 2 plus x. Of course, this is really straightforward. You write the 2 as it is, and instead of the x, you just write the 3. And this gives us 5. And that's the answer. However, I think working with positive numbers uh, is a very straightforward thing. So I've replaced the 3 with a negative 3. And let's start seeing how we would input this into expressions. So we're going to go again with our first expression, which is 2 plus x. And let's see how this looks like. We're going to have 2 plus. Now, here's the thing. Whenever you're dealing with negative numbers or even positive numbers for that matter, what you want to do is whenever you want to replace an x with a value, I always put it in brackets. So instead of writing x, I put brackets and then the actual value I want to replace it with. And in the examples to come, you're going to see why this is a very powerful way of substituting values into expressions. So let's have a look. 2 plus negative 3. How would this work? Well, a positive and a negative next to each other like this uh, will result in a negative. So it's going to be 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. And that's the answer there. OK, let's look at a slightly more complicated expression. So here we have 2x squared minus 10. And we're going to do the same thing that we did in the last example. Wherever there's an x, I'm just going to replace the x with brackets minus 3. Notice how I keep all of the operations outside of the x, outside of the brackets. They, they remain outside of the brackets. Um, and then we have the minus 10 at the end. So now you're going to see why this is very powerful. Here we have minus 3 to the power of 2, and then multiplied by 2. The operations follow bid mass, so indices or powers before multiplication, because this 2 is being multiplied onto the minus 3. So we're going to have minus 3 to the power of 2, which is minus 3 times minus 3, which gives us 9, and then that gets multiplied by 2, which gives us 18. And then we minus 10. Now, if you want to take your time with the calculations, that's perfectly fine. If you are allowed to use a calculator, writing it exactly like this in your calculator will result in the correct answer. So if you don't have a calculator, you can highlight your work and take it to the side and do the calculations there. So I have minus 3 squared and then multiplied by 2. So this is going to be 9 because the power acts on it first. And then it's being multiplied by 2, which gives me 18. So you could do that if you wanted to. And the answer will be 8. OK, now let's take a look at a slightly more complicated quadratic. So here we're going to have 2 brackets 3 squared. So we're just replacing the x with a minus 3. And then it's going to be minus 3 brackets negative 3 plus 5. And there it is. Inputting this into your calculator as it looks will give you the correct answer. Or you could just calculate it mentally. Minus 3 to the power of 2 is 9 times 2 is 18. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 gives us plus 9. And we have plus 5 at the end. Adding all of this together will give us 32. Now let's take a look at an example where you have two variables to input and see how we'll tackle this. We have 2xy minus 2xy squared. So we're going to do 2, replace the x with the brackets minus 3, replace the y with the brackets minus 2. And we'll do the same for the rest of this expression and simplify the result. Two negatives will give you a positive. So this is essentially going to be 2 times 3 times 2, which is 12. OK, so now we can do the same for the rest of the expression. Be mindful, though, of bid mass and how the power is going to operate on this minus 2 first. So it's going to be minus 2 to the power of 2, which makes it a positive 4. So we're going to have minus 2 brackets minus 3 brackets. 4. And of course, this 2 has operated on the minus 2. Minus 2 multiplied by minus 3 results in a positive value. 2 times 3 is 6. 
times 4 is 24. And our final result is 36. And there you have it. That's how you substitute values into expressions for algebra. I really hope you've learned something from this video, guys. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them when possible. Thank you and take care.